Welcome to Winnipeg. The welcome to Winnipeg sign that we just saw there marks the start of the Trans Canada Highway when it passes through Winnipeg on the west side. Trans Canada Highway apparently is the fourth longest unbroken highway in the world. 7,800 kilometers, does that sound right? It goes all the way from Victoria, BC to somewhere in Newfoundland and Labrador. And lo and behold, it passes through Winnipeg. So over the next couple of days, I am gonna walk the length of the Trans-Canada Highway across Winnipeg. Uh, I wanted to film this little spiel in front of the sign, but the sun was blasting down on me and uh, I would have just been a black silhouette. So it's 32 kilometers all told, so we'll see uh, what adventures we can get on along the way. So this is what we're following today. A little bit noisy out here, but we are gonna follow Highway 1 all the way to the other side of Winnipeg. Keegan passes to Archie Gemmel. Archie Gemmel back to Keegan. Oh, and he gets an opening, he shoots. Oh, but Jesus saves. The temptation is strong to go to Burrito Splendido, but not today. What is this? Pausch, posh, posh, posh. I think it's supposed to be posh, but with a bit of a pun, maybe? Pausch dog, posh, pausch. The pausch dog, there he is. This used to be a Blockbusters, back when you could rent videos and DVD, remember those? The building uh, behind me is some kind of museum. Built in 1856, does a lot of uh, stuff for the kids, showing them how life used to be back then. Sounds absolutely dull. Um, I guess in age uh, compared to English buildings, it's a little bit of a fetus, but. Uh, 1856, there you go, a little bit of Hudson Bay Company history on the Trans-Canada Highway in Winnipeg. And of course, with every national monument and place of history, you've got to have an abandoned shopping cart. For this little bit, we're going to go under the Trans-Canada Highway. Under there. So if you ever wondered what the underneath of the Trans-Canada Highway looked like, this is it. So I've made it, I don't know, halfway to my first stop. I'm at uh, Cuthbert Grant's Mill. And I much prefer to call this uh, Cuthbert's Dibble Grub, um, for obvious reasons. Pew, pew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert Dibble Grub. And of course, it's always nice to know that these historic monuments that are uh, 
put here to, to help people learn and, and appreciate the history of, uh, of their city has graffiti on it. Blacks always. Always. That's so they're uh, able to get out of the water easier and sunbathe. The beauty of a city walk is that there's always a bit of nature. It's getting to be about lunchtime. I can see there's tons of berries here. I'm going to go foraging, see, see what I can have for lunch. Ah, this looks good. Oh yeah, that'll do nicely. Okay, so what do we get? A packet of crisps, a can of pop, banana, ooh, pickled onions. Oh, and a cheese and pickle sandwich. What a find. Coming up now on 2300 Portage Avenue. When I came to Canada in 1998, this is where my girlfriend at the time, my now wife, lived with her sister. 2300 Portage. I'm going to take you around the back. I want to show you something. So behind me is the parking garage for 2300 Portage. That's where my sister-in-law used to park her car. So imagine it's minus 40 in a Winnipeg winter. It's uh, time to go and get some groceries. She would come down to this parking garage, start her car, warm it up for 10 minutes, unplug it, and then she'd drive to the supermarket, which is right there. You would drive to the supermarket. But if you've never experienced minus 40, I guess that's uh, reasonable to do, but it's literally a 60 second walk. Just put a jacket on. You know the way to Polo Park? You know the way? As the crow flies? No? I bet that looks really good at midnight. Canada geese. Or as we call them over here, geese. That worked pretty well. Assiniboine Park's forgotten brother, Bruce Park. Never been. Let's go and have a look. I'm already liking this park better. This is a nice safe place for uh, shopping carts to congregate. Bruce Park holds a little bit of a secret, a little bit of a, a nugget on the Trans-Canada Highway. There is actually an elf house here in the bottom of a tree. It's a little greenhouse. 
with a blue door on it. Literally, on the footpath through the park. It's right there. If this was England, that would have been kicked in, smashed, set fire to, vandalised, ripped apart ages and ages ago. Or the tree would have had a fence around it, uh, 10 feet away, and you could have taken photographs and they would have charged you for it. This is awesome. later. We are actually over a third of the way there. I've got another kilometre to go and I'm 12 kilometres in. So this is going to be my first stop on this three-day journey. I'm going to stop at a hotel that's about a kilometre down the way there. Beautiful day, weather held out for me. I'm getting a bit tired. It'd be nice to get a refreshing drink and a shower. Okay, I made it to Polo Park. 12 kilometers from where I started out, from Welcome to Winnipeg. So now I'm a, over a third of the way to the other side. And I'm gonna be stopping in that hotel tonight, should be nice.